Ready to supercharge your B2B strategy on Shopify? Today, we're diving into Shopify's latest B2B features. We're IWD agency, and we specialize in building custom, high-performing e-commerce stores that help businesses grow. If you ever need a hand with implementation, don't hesitate to reach out to us at hi at iwdagency.com. We're here to help. We'll start with a quick overview of these exciting new features, then walk you through how to use them step by step. And if you're looking for something specific, feel free to jump ahead using the bookmarks in the description. Here's some exciting news. Forrester Wave's annual report ranks the top B2B solutions. You can see familiar names like Salesforce and Adobe Commerce, but what's impressive is Shopify standing strong alongside them. They're now competing with major enterprise platforms and making waves in the B2B space. With Shopify's heavy investment in B2B features, they'll likely keep rising in these rankings year after year. One of Shopify's standout features is its ability to handle both B2B and direct-to-consumer DTC storefronts from a single admin panel. This saves a lot of time and keeps things streamlined for businesses managing both sides. Shopify's API solutions are also a game changer. You can integrate tools like your CRM, ERP, or OMS into Shopify, so everything works together seamlessly. They've really made it easier for businesses to keep their systems connected and avoid bottlenecks, especially when syncing with an ERP. Now let's go over some of Shopify's B2B features, especially those in Shopify Plus, which is designed for larger enterprises and B2B merchants. First up is Company Profiles. This feature lets you manage customer-specific settings and is the foundation for many other B2B features. It's super useful for organizing company accounts and their preferences. Then you've got customer-specific catalogs. For example, if you're a uniform supplier working with large retailers like Target and Walmart, each customer can have access to a catalog tailored just for them. This means that Target would only see the uniforms and products relevant to their stores, while Walmart would have access to their own unique selection. It ensures that each customer sees only what's applicable to them, keeping the shopping experience clean, organized, and personalized. Next, we have quantity rules. This lets you set minimum or maximum order quantities. So, if you require bulk orders, say, at least 100 units before checkout, this feature handles that. Then, there's volume pricing. This is tiered pricing based on the quantity purchased. Basically, the more a customer buys, the bigger the discount. It's a great way to incentivize bulk buying. Store personalization is another key feature. Let's go back to the Target example. When they log in, they'll see their own customized banners, colors, and messaging tailored specifically for them. If Walmart logs in, they'll see a completely different personalized experience. This approach helps strengthen customer relationships by delivering a unique tailored experience for each client. Speaking of customization, Shopify now supports headless storefronts. This means you can build your site's front end on a different platform while still using Shopify for back-end tasks like checkout and inventory. It gives you flexibility in design while keeping Shopify's robust back-end features. If your business needs specific custom solutions, Shopify's flexibility allows you to create custom B2B apps or integrate your ERP system via API. This is especially helpful for businesses with unique processes that need tailored functionality. Another great feature is workflow automations. You can automate routine tasks like generating purchase orders or sending customer updates, saving time and making your business more efficient. Company account requests make onboarding B2B customers easy. Potential clients can submit requests directly through Shopify, and you can approve them with a click. No manual work required. Shopify also supports sales rep permissions, letting you assign reps to assist customers with order creation within Shopify. It's an easy way to keep the sales process personal and efficient. With Checkout to Draft, reps can create orders and send them to customers for approval before finalizing. This feature is perfect for businesses where orders need to be reviewed before payment. Shopify's new trade theme is optimized for B2B, incorporating all these features into a user-friendly interface that we'll explore later in the tutorial. For those who use purchase order numbers, Shopify now includes this within their orders API, allowing seamless integration with your OMS or ERP system. It makes managing orders more efficient. Another time saver is the quick bulk order feature, which simplifies large orders for customers. This is especially handy for businesses handling high volume purchases. Shopify has also introduced flexible payment options like Net15 or Net30 terms, so you can offer payment plans that suit your B2B clients. Easy reordering is another helpful feature, allowing customers to quickly reorder products they frequently purchase. It's a huge convenience, saving time for both you and your clients. For repeat customers, vaulted credit cards store payment information securely, 
so they don't have to re-enter details for every new order. This makes the checkout process faster and smoother. And finally, Shopify has added PayPal payments and a variety of custom discount options, giving you the flexibility to tailor pricing and payment options to meet your customers' needs. Now, let's dive into the demo showcasing Shopify's B2B features. We'll start by adding a company, which is the backbone of many B2B functionalities in Shopify. First, navigate to the Customer section and click Companies. There's already a sample company called Snow Devil, but let's add a new one. Click Add Company in the top right corner. Enter the company name, for example, IWD Agency. Then choose the main contact. Let's select John Doe. You can also add the company's address, set payment terms like Net30, and configure their checkout options, such as limiting them to shipping to one address at a time. You can also enter a tax ID and decide if the company is tax exempt or subject to taxes. Once the company's added, you can start customizing it further. You'll be able to create orders, add locations, and assign staff members like sales reps. You can also manage customer-specific catalogs from here and edit payment terms and checkout settings from here, as well as add any notes related to the company. Now let's assign this company to a specific catalog. Head over to Products, then Catalogs. We already have two sample catalogs, but we're going to create a new one for this customer. You can choose to include all products or just specific ones. For this demo, Let's say we're creating a catalog for IWD agency. This is where you can apply price adjustments. So let's say we want to add a 10% discount for this customer. You can also configure if new products should automatically be added to this catalog and specify locations if the company has multiple branches, like if they need different uniforms for Target's New York and Texas locations. Once done, set the catalog status to active and select the currency. Now that you have your custom catalog set up, you can begin adding products here, just as you would with a regular catalog. Now let's take a look at products and pricing. You've got another great feature here where you can easily import your catalog with a CSV file. So you can export it, get the formatting just right, and then upload it back into the system if needed. This makes things so much easier, especially if you have a large catalog, whether that's thousands of SKUs or even millions. Instead of adding products one by one, you can quickly populate everything using your CSV file, and it's extra useful if you're pulling data from another system, like an ERP. It really saves a lot of time and effort. Next, let's talk about pricing rules. You can adjust minimum or maximum quantities a customer must order. You can set your increments here. Let's say a minimum of 10 units and a maximum of 1,000. You can also set up volume pricing. This lets you set price breaks based on the quantity ordered. For example, after 10 units, you might lower the price a bit and then offer a bigger discount after 50 units. You can easily set all of that up right here, making it simple to offer bulk pricing for your customers. Now that we've set up a catalog and pricing, we'll assign sales reps. Head to Settings, then Users, and add a new user. Enter their email. Let's call them salesrep at iwdagency.com. After that, we'll assign them a role so we'll go ahead and select the sales rep role. You can also customize permissions if needed. But since we've chosen sales rep, the permissions are already set up for us. From here, we can manage how they log in and control which stores they have access to within the company settings. Once everything's ready, you can send them an invite and they'll get an email to activate their account. Lastly, let's walk through creating a purchase order. First, under products, click on purchase orders. Then let's create a new one. Here you can select a supplier if needed. Next, we'll set the payment terms. Let's say net 45. You can change the currency here, but we'll keep it in US dollars. You can also set the estimated arrival date, and for shipping, we'll choose UPS from the dropdown. You can also add a tracking number if you have one. Next, select the products you want to include in the PO. I'll just pick a few as an example, and click Add. For the reference number, you might have one for the merchant, but we'll just put in 10. You can also add a note to the supplier, like thank you. Now, let's set the total cost for these four snowboards, let's say $750. Once you're done, you can save the purchase order as a draft. And there you have it. The PO is now created, and you can send it to your customer for approval, payment, or whatever's needed next. That's the last thing I wanted to show you in the admin panel. Now we'll jump over to the trade theme. 
This is a free Shopify theme designed specifically for B2B customers, featuring a user-friendly UX UI that supports tiered pricing and easy reordering. As you can see in this table, you can select multiple items to add to your cart all at once. It makes it super easy for B2B customers, who usually need to order in large quantities. The great thing about the trade theme is that it comes with these UX UI elements already set up, so you won't have to start from scratch. Plus, many of the features you find in the admin panel are also built right into the theme, making them easy to use right away. Just keep in mind that you'll still want to customize it to fit your specific business needs. Anyway, that's all we have for you today. If you have any questions or need help implementing a B2B solution for your company, feel free to reach out to us at iwdagency.com. We're here to help, and we'll see you next time.